Pastor Stubblefield, as a man directed by God, you reflect Psalms 1, where it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. As the under-shepherd for the Lord, and in keeping with Psalms 55 verse 22, you remind us to cast thy burdens upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. You raised your family in alignment with Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6. Train up a child in the way that he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And the words of Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 6 through 7. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou risest up. This training up and teaching were never more on display than the very moving message recently delivered by your son Charlton as a guest preacher where he tantalized and teased us with the subject, Have You Been Persuaded? from Romans chapter 8 verses 31 through 39. Your sermons with three points reveal that you study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed rightfully dividing the word of truth. Your concern for the flock encourage you to preach the word in season and out of season, and challenge us to awaken to our potential, going further out and deeper down, moving from the innermost to the uttermost, and down challenging us to go further out and deeper down, from the innermost to the outermost. Pastor, your commitment to Christian education is affirmed by the continued emphasis and support for evangelism and the evangelism program, fully embracing the Great Commission instructed by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You work tirelessly to search the scriptures and deliver an impactful and timely Wednesday night Bible study to demonstrate the applicability of the never-changing Word of God to an ever-changing world in an effort to equip the body with the full armor of God. So, Pastor Stubblefield, we celebrate 17 years of your good and faithful service. We extend the priestly blessing to you that Moses extended to the children of Israel in Numbers chapter 6, verse 22 through 26, namely, that the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. As you continue in your role as principal under-shepherd of this Christian journey at the First Baptist Church of Chesterfield, a man directed by God. Sister Judy, when we think of you, we always think of how much you desire to show love to people. You always say that's the most important thing you can do, and you do it so well. Love the people, you say. Love the people. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in inequity, but rejoices in the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. Certainly, these words describe your heart and your action towards God's people. If we were to compare you to one of the strong, loving, and faithful women of the Bible, we would choose Ruth. Ruth showed extreme love and loyalty to her mother-in-law. Naomi, by refusing to leave her side when Naomi's husband and sons passed away. Perhaps no other book of the Bible more aptly speaks to the value of a wife than the book of Proverbs where it states in 1822, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And Proverbs 1914 where it states, houses and riches are an inheritance from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. 
Your quiet and gentle spirit embodies the words of Galatians 5, 22 through 23, which states, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, all of which are part of your makeup as you steadfastly support your husband in this ministry. Each week, this is on display as we find you in your familiar seat in the sanctuary. We thank you for the 17 years of committed service to the First Baptist Church of Chesterfield as the wife of the under-shepherd that the Lord has placed over us. We are aware that at times it comes with great sacrifice as pastor is called to respond to a myriad requests and needs of the body. Truly, you are a woman of God who is dedicated to the Lord and the work of his ministry. And for that, we are eternally grateful.